Hej Charlotte. Hej. Um, welcome. Um, the first question from Women in Badminton for you would be, um, how is the preparation for the World Championships um, that Denmark will host? How are they going? They're going very well. We are right now going into a, a period where we, together with the, our partners, uh, we have the Ballerup, uh, capital of Ballerup, uh, and the city of Copenhagen. We are now uh, trying to be very concrete about uh, what the project should be. Uh, and we are actually right now working with a big project about schools, uh, badminton in schools. Uh, and the cities uh, really want to make this event uh, going uh, all the way into the into the schools. So that's uh, a big issue right now. So uh, also we are working uh, to have volunteers. Actually, we are inviting uh, all of Denmark uh, to join us as volunteer, and we have uh, just launched a new website called uh, uh, Denmark2014.com. Uh, uh, inviting uh, people to come and help us, so Sounds that's a big great. project. Sounds great. Um, what are the expectations having World Championship on the home soil? It's our expectation that uh, we will have a, a, a great, uh, what do you call it, we, many, many people uh, looking into the sport, uh, seeing badminton as a sport uh, that they can uh, uh, particip participate in, and that is our a big goal to have uh, a lot more participating in the sports. That sounds great. If we go along to, to the females in uh, badminton Denmark yes. and the, the athletes, female mm -hmm. athletes, uh, what kind of project does badminton Denmark have for, for the f to develop female players for the female players? We have a project uh, for a uh, women's single uh, called Women's Single uh, 2016. Uh, where we have uh, six to eight uh, female player, young players uh, in a project and they are having a goal to have medals in 2016 so that's uh, very exciting to see uh, the young players actually we have uh, a few of them uh, joining the Danish national team to the Sudirman Cup so that's the first time they will be joining uh, uh, the, the national team yeah, that sounds great. Um, maybe just to make a link to yesterday's awards. Yes. Um, Kirsten Larsen, her involvement yeah. in the future, still a big part of badminton Denmark? A big part, yeah. Great. She's very uh, keen to uh, work with uh, young girls, uh, working with uh, their mental uh, development. Mm -hmm. uh, and also she has been a great player and this um, and the girls are really looking up to her, so and she is very, very good. It's good to hear. Um, in your job in badminton yes. Denmark, what are your biggest barriers or victories? Um, what do you recognize on that? I think that uh, we have been more, uh, what do you call it, professional uh, in our way to work. Mm -hmm. uh, there are very, very uh, big uh, goals and tasks to do. Uh, and uh, we have strengthened and uh, make a more, uh, uh, what can you call it, uh, ef uh, efficient uh, work in, uh, in badminton Denmark. We are very much uh, working on social media uh, to reach out to the publicity and to show uh, how badminton is doing. Um, so, uh, and our main goal is to uh, have more participation to the sports in Denmark. And I think we are doing very well. Uh, there's just been, uh, what do you call it, uh, we have just for the first time in, in many years uh, uh, seen that uh, the membership has increased in Denmark. So we are very happy with that. And we have had, a, uh, right now we have a, a big uh, development project together with the the National Olympic uh, Association in Denmark uh, trying to uh, have more uh, members uh, to participate. Great. Is there some, some difficulties here? Is there something you would say that's something that it's a big buyer we want to work on in the future? We have to increase our income. Uh, 
and uh, we uh, we are very much uh, working with uh, sponsorships. Uh, I think that's uh, a task everyone has uh, also in Denmark, uh, the sports, yeah. trying to have more sponsorships. We try to uh, look into fundraising as a new uh, way to raise money uh, to our activities. So it's a new uh, task uh, in the badminton Denmark. Perfect. Um, Tina Van, yes. stopping her huge, huge life on career in yeah. uh, 2013. What is the plan with uh, her involvement? Uh, will she be involved kind of in the female work, in uh, working with the young female players in Bampton, Denmark, or any kind of other connection if, if you already have any? We don't have so many plans right now. I think Tina is uh, going to, she's uh, having uh, education and uh, I think that uh, she's also playing in her local club, uh, Verlusa. Mm -hmm. But uh, we really want to cooperate with Tina. Uh, she's been uh, a great player for many years and uh, uh, her having to play uh, and train also with the girls would be very, very good for the inspector. Great. Do you personally have any athlete inside Valentin, outside Valentin that inspires you or that you find especially interesting? Oh, I can't really... No, I don't think so. so not right now. No. Do you have someone you look up to also regarding your business career or, or is it just... Uh, you, you you go after I go mainly I go after my own uh, goals and uh, I think um, I have worked uh, together with uh, a couple of uh, ministers uh, along the way in my career and there's a couple of them that I very much look up to uh, unfortunately some of them has passed away but yeah. uh, 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 a minister in Denmark who was very uh, known uh, was the Minister for Environment, uh, okay. Mr. Sven Alten, uh, a great person, great personality uh, who I very much looked up to. Okay. Um, just maybe as a last thing, just yeah. completely relax, do you have any hobbies uh, and what, what do you like to do in your leisure time? When I have the time I like to uh, paint. Uh, and uh, being together with my family. We don't have so much time together. So when we are together, we, uh, we travel, uh, we uh, are going to the movies and, and so on. So, and I'm living out in the country and very much enjoying the nature and trying to use the nature to relax uh, mm -hmm. before going to work. Maybe now just one more question appeared yeah. to me when you're saying, um, is it different for a female to be in this uh, high position? Um, is it harder because of the family? Uh, how do you manage then actually to make this balance? Uh, you have to work hard on it or how is it? Uh? In my point of view, I don't think it's harder to be a uh, female. Uh, I think it's very important to have uh, a good family um, and uh, I have a very uh, nice husband who, uh, who is supporting me. Um, so I think you have to, if you have a dream about having a career as a woman, you have to go for it. Don't stand by and think you can't do it. Just believe in your dreams mm. and uh, you can do it just as well as, uh, as men can do it, I think. Thank you very much. Okay.